Hi, this is Chris with Fisher Workshops, and in this tutorial, learn how to make a round knife sheath. A printable PDF pattern can be downloaded at fisherworkshops.com. This pattern file also includes a Japanese Skyvern knife sheath and a burnishing glass sheath. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to Fisher Workshops. First apply a little backside finishing gum to the backside of the front piece. With a burnishing glass, burnish the backside of the leather until smooth. Use an edge beveler to bevel the front and back of the flat end of the leather piece. Continue to bevel the edges of the back piece as illustrated. On the second piece, only bevel the smooth side of the flat end. Apply water or burnishing gum and polish the edges to a shine. You can polish the edges with a wood slicker or a rotary wood slicker like the one I'm using. Apply contact cement to the front of the back piece and the back of the second piece and fix together. Roughen the edges a little so the glue can set better. Now fix the two pieces together. Now apply contact cement to the backing and the gusset piece. Fix the gusset to the backing. Mm -hmm. 
Apply contact cement to the gusset and to the front piece and fix together. After you've carved a stitching line along the front of the sheath, use a stitching awl to punch stitching holes along the line. Thread a harness needle to each end of the wax thread that you'll be using. Fix your project to a stitching horse and saddle stitch along the body of the sheet. After your stitching is complete, sand down any unsmooth edges. Apply a little water or burnishing gum to the edges and polish to a shine. For a little extra shine, I'll heat a little Columbus wax and apply it to the edges and polish. Now let's prepare to attach the belt to the sheath. Let's first attach the buttons to each end of the belt.
Now attach the belt to the sheath with a rivet. My round knife sheath is finished and ready to be fixed to my tool frame.